Again, thank you so much for joining us here on Idaho Today. Mount Everest is not only the pinnacle for every mountaineer, but the highest point on Earth, dwarfing every peak here in our great state of Idaho. But one man climbed the highest mountain in the world as a part of his Seven Summit project. We're joined today by Mark Pattison, where he tells us about his new documentary, Searching for the Summit, which actually premiered at the Sun Valley Film Festival recently. And there's a really strong message behind this story, though. So great to have you with us this morning, Mark. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. All right. So first, tell us, set the stage here. Tell us a little more about the Seven Summit Project. What is that? Well, look, at, uh, 10 years ago, I was going through a bit of a rough time. And, and so really to pull myself out of that, um, I decided to become the first NFL player to ever climb the Seven Summits. And the Seven Summits are the highest peaks on every continent. And so off I went, and in my mind, you know, I thought it would be pretty simple in terms of uh, seven years, because one summit per year, and that would be it. And then I, I forgot about Mother Nature, and I forgot about COVID and things like that. And so at the end of the day, it took me about 10 years to, to complete. Um, in 2021, I got a call from the NFL, and uh, they asked if uh, I wanted to do a film with them. And of course I said, yes. And mm -hmm. uh, off we went, they flew over to Tucson Valley, which is where I live. And uh, we shot a bunch of scenes and they spent five days filming all kinds of stuff. And then off I went to Mount Everest, the NFL uh, security shut down the NFL from coming over there and filming. And so they equipped me with a bunch of, of GoPros and off I went. So I did all the filming on the, uh, on the mountain. And at the end of the day, I completed the journey. I completed the climb. It was a battle, especially on summit day for me. You're up there for two months. And I went through a whole lot of things. And um, uh, uh, when I came back, you know, they, they finished up the film. And, and this, uh, gosh, last May, uh -huh. um, it was nominated for two Emmys. And we won Best Picture for Short Documentary Wow! Um, in that particular category. It was unbelievable. I was in New York and with all these famous, you know, uh, sports journalists and and uh, got to get up on stage and accept the, the, the Emmy. And so it's, it was just a really amazing experience all around. What an honor. And my goodness, okay, so seven years was the goal, took 10 years, clearly well worth the wait, right? Yeah. Now, I mean, not only because you got an Emmy, but I can just imagine the personal experiences that you had climbing every single one of these summits. Uh, probably what you learned about yourself, that soul searching, just the experience in itself. I mean, wow. Uh, and the GoPro. So you took a GoPro when you climbed Mount Everest. So the yeah. footage that we see then is going to be, you know, probably uh, a pretty good first person experience then, would you say? It was a for, yeah, it was, mm -hmm. it was a first person experience. And, you know, I don't know anything about filming and they, you know, I, I cameras on my shoulders and my chest. And I just push play and off we go. And I want to circle back to kind of the reason behind all this. A lot of this had to do with the fact that my daughter um, uh, has epilepsy. And so she's had it, she's now 23 years old. Um, she, she uh, first, we first started noticing that she had this uh, condition when she was about six. And so it's just been this long journey. If you can imagine having daily seizures, you know, when yeah. she'd have 10 seizures a day, that was a win. So oh anyways, that the long and short of it is it really motivated me, motivated me when I ran into some very uh, difficult and challenging times up on Mount Everest, especially um, again on that final summit day, May 23rd, of, of getting myself back down and there's a whole lot more into that but but the bottom line is this is that we started this campaign working with uh organization called higher ground uh based over in sun valley they also are in new york and la and started raising a bunch of money and it's really all about empowerment and my daughter has not had a seizure in a year and a half and it's just been wow. a, a, almost a miracle in many different ways but i think you know when you really boil it down to all this it's really about the empowerment that she really felt um, in terms of uh, of taking control of the situation, um, that's much easier said than done. Um, and, and and you know, kind of waiting her way out through um, this whole thing. And so it's been an amazing experience for her too. But you know, at the end of the day, we're out there helping other people. Um, you know, like you said, the personal journey for myself, and of course, my daughter being healed. Yes. And then this too was a fundraiser, though, for epilepsy as well, right? So not only were you trying to benefit your daughter, but also those who may be in a similar boat as her. Is that correct? Yeah, and higher ground really helps out also a lot of military people. You know, people come back from Iraq and Afghanistan and and they're they're in tough situations. You know, maybe they've lost a, a limb or they've got cognitive, you know, issues, PTSD, things like that. And again, having them out in some valley, taking them mountain bike riding, floating down rivers, fly fishing, all the wonderful things you can do in the outdoors in the great state of Idaho and in particular in some valley. 
um, it's really helped a lot of folks, you know, through their ch trials and tribulations. And so it's just, it's wonderful when you give back, you know, and, yes. and it's, it, 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 it originally was about me and getting healed and then it all, and then it transitioned over into like, you know what, this is much bigger than me. And what can I do to kind of reshine my NFL light onto something much larger than my little problems yeah. into helping others get healed. You know, Mark, there's a lot of symbolism with your story because while you went and climbed, physically climbed these seven mountains, you were also dealing with a mountain you had to climb internally in yourself and then you're helping those climb their mountains as well. So yeah. this is just a beautiful full circle. Uh, you keep mentioning the NFL. I mean, you're a former NFL player. So could you say some of your skills from the NFL helped you when it came to Mount Mary? <laughs> Well, you know, in a certain way, yes, in a certain way, no. You know, at the end of the day, it's just doing it. And, and you know, you the one thing about being on a football field and going through an NFL camp is you, you're not going to die, right? You might have yes. serious injury, but you're not going to go up there. I mean, I li literally was stepping over dead bodies, you know, going mm -hmm. up to the summit. And so it's just something that you have to take on. But, you know, in terms of the discipline, uh, really the daily discipline, um, uh, putting in all the hard effort and the work and really learning your craft you don't go from little league to the nfl in one jump um just like in mountaineering you know i started climbing all these mountains around the pacific northwest i'm originally from seattle and then i moved to sun valley five years ago so i could just train daily going up and down these mountains and then that's setting the stage to to really learning you know going up and and elevating my way in terms of all these different mountains um, around the world that, you know, increase with difficulty as you go higher yeah. and higher and higher. Well, and it's like with any physical feat, right? Like you didn't just jump into this one day and go, I'm going to do this. It took you 10 years to complete what you were, your goal, what you were working on. So congratulations to you, Mark. Really impressive and such a beautiful story. Congratulations on your Emmys and everything in between. Uh, you know, how do people see this? Where do they go? Can they follow you on social? Yeah, yeah, Mark Patterson, NFL, you know, that's my, my tag. But, you know, the best place that, that you can go and see what's going on, I also have a bunch of podcasts called Finding Your Summit, ironically. Oh, nice. I've been doing that for, you know, the last three years. But but uh, Mark Patterson, NFL.com, um, you can find uh, the Emmy-winning uh, film there, and there's all my social channels and everything else. So anything that you want to find out, I've got some climbs coming up. I'm going over to Chamonix, climbing Ooh. Mount Blanc, then down to Zermont, uh, which is in Switzerland, climbing the Matterhorn, iconic mountain. Nice. I'll be down in, uh, that's in September, I'll, in August, later on this month, I'll be down in Jackson Hole, climbing a mountain called the Grand. So, you know, continuing to get after it and set new goals. Mm -hmm. You're staying plenty busy, and I'm sure we're going to be in touch with you because that all sounds super exciting. Cannot wait to see the rest of your journey ahead. Mark, again, thank you so much. Thank you. All right, you take care.